Hi there, welcome back. Uh, today we're looking at dew point profile data and we've already established the boundary temperature throughout a wall. We've looked at the from the inside surface all the way through to the outside surface. We've not only established what the boundary temperature is, we've established what the vapour pressure is at each increment as well. Now, we need to this information because we need to know at what point are we going to be worrying about condensation. Now the condensation is going to be when the relative humidity or the um, the vapour within there reaches 100% saturation. Now there's two curves here, they're both the same, they're both psychrometrics, so the relationship is always the same. The one on the left is someone that has produced, been produced um, to show us the relationship between vapour pressure in KPA and temperature, which is what we've got. We've got our pre boundary pressure at PA and our temperature to be Celsius, lovely. And relative humidity, great. So we can work it out just using this chart. However, I've shown you on the right, our SIBSI psychometric chart. Now this is the industry used um, standard chart. Um, you can't see KPA on there or anything like that. Um, you'd have to convert the values. So we're not, I'm not looking at this one right now. I'm gonna look at this one here. OK, and I'm going to show you how to work this out. So first up, we have 23 degrees and we have 1.75 kPa. We've, we've calculated these values and all we need to do is plot them onto this chart to find the relationship and find out if we are hitting 100% saturation. No, we are not. We're hitting 52% relative humidity. We're all good. Um, when would we be, we be worrying though? If the inside surface temperature, if the boundary pressure, the vapour pressure within the air stayed the same and the temperature suddenly dropped to about 12 and a half degrees, I've put 14 there, oops, um, 12 and a half degrees, that's when I would be worrying. That would be my dew point. That is when it turns into dew. That's when there's condensation. That's when I'm worrying about water vapour. Um, turning into water on that material or in that material but i'm not worrying it's good that looks good okay so i'm going to make my way through all the materials lovely nope not worrying there either not worrying there either ha i'm going to worry here um at nine degrees i have 1.5 kpa okay and that is well over my 100 percent relative humidity that means there is water within that material okay and the same with the brickwork okay so that's yeah I would be worrying there. I would need to be either raising the temperature, okay, or I'd be needing to, sorry, um, I'd need to, need to raise the temperature or I'd need to somehow um, emit the, the vapour within that air, okay. So there you go. That's how that works. Um, just going over to the psychometric chart very quickly, the standard SIBSI one, I could, if I had the relative humidity and the boundary temperature, I could actually work this out as well. So if I use my 23 degrees and my relative humidity was 52%, okay, see that's where that line meets 52. And then you just draw a line straight across. And that's basically telling me um, at this relative humidity, if the temperature was, if I bring, if I have a look at down, if the temperatures were about between 13 and 14 degrees, which is why I put 14, um, that is when it would be 100% saturation. That is the dew point. That would be my dew point temperature. Okay. And I've done the same for these. So as you can see, if you follow the green line across, um, I hit 53%. Um, percent, I follow it across and then I'm at 13 degrees Celsius would be my saturation. Okay. 11 degrees. Okay. Um, so that's another way of, of reading your psychometric chart. Okay. Thanks a lot. Have some fun. Take care.